Lads, um, I've spoken recently about the return of Ian Basso and Floyd Landis um, after uh, their suspensions and um, compared it to David Miller and that they should be welcomed back in the way that David Miller was welcomed back. There was one obvious difference in that David Miller had been very pronounced in his anti-doping stats, where these guys have admitted to nothing. What is it about these dopers that you, you think don't matter so much? Excuse me? What is your name again? My name is Paul Kimmage, I work for Sunday Times. I asked for an interview, but I didn't yell. Right, and just as a little preface, I might, I might just clear up one thing. The reason you didn't get it, Paul, I wanted to make sure that was you, because I don't want you to learn. When I decided to come back, for what I think is a very noble reason, you said, folks, the cancer has been in remission for four years, but our cancer has now returned, meaning me. I am here to fight this disease. I am here so that I don't have to deal with it, you don't have to deal with it, none of us have to deal with it, my children don't have to deal with it. But yet you said that I am the cancer, and the cancer is out of remission. So I think it goes without saying, no, we're not going to sit down and do an interview. And I don't think anybody in this room would sit down for that interview. You are not worth the chair that you're sitting on with a statement like that, with a disease that touches everybody around the world. Now, to answer your question, in fairness to you, although I'm not sure you deserve it, I'll answer the question. I think uh, you have to consider what has happened there. David, who I, I admire greatly, I like a lot, I've always liked David Miller, uh, was caught with his hand in a cookie jar. Is it heroic now that, that he has confessed? Some would say so. I applaud him for being back. I, I hope he is very successful on the bike and when he rides fast, I think it's great. Floyd, on the other hand, um, while there's some, you know, some would say there's evidence against him, there's also a lot of evidence in his favor. And as I said in, a, in, a, in an interview the other day, Floyd does not believe that he is guilty. So to appease people like you and others, he can't confess. He doesn't feel like he's guilty. He doesn't feel like he broke the rules. You can't do that just to get people off your back. Uh, I think Eva, who I also admire greatly, and it's not admiring dopers or non dopers I, I admire these people as, as, as persons, as people, for what, what they stand for as, as men. Do we make mistakes, all of us? Absolutely. As a society, are we supposed to forgive and forgive and let people get back to their job? Absolutely. Uh, I'm not sure I will ever forgive you for that statement. And I'm not sure that anybody around the world that has been affected by this disease will forgive you. We don't have a patent on cancer, by the way. No, I've lost people with cancer. And, and, I, and, I'm, I'm interested in the cancer of doping and cycling. That has been my life's work. I raced as a professional. I exposed it. Alan? And then you come along and it disappears. The problem disappears. 